Steelers hockey, of course, is normally on BBC Radio Sheffield on a Friday. Remember, the Sheffield Steelers have a home game on Friday night. 7.30 is the start time when the Steelers take on Tony Hand and his Manchester Phoenix team. Before we get to that, looking back on Saturday's game, Seth, against the uh, Cardiff Devils, and we're all a little bit down, we're all a bit disappointed. It just didn't click tonight, did it, for David Matsos' team? Well, it's one of those performances that over the last four or five games, the Steelers haven't been at their very, very best. But they've snuck victories out of those games. You look at the game tonight and they weren't quite at their best, but still take that vital point out of it. And that's what we've got to remember. The Steelers are top of the Elite League right now because of these points with the overtime losses. And that's the key thing tonight. Yeah, they win on a cheesy goal. You know, Brad Voth, I've just seen him in the corridor and he says, you know, I've not scored a goal like that in a long, long time. Basically, he lost the puck off the end of his stick and it went dribbling down through Jody's legs and eventually went over that line. He won't score a goal like that again unless he's facing an under 10 goalie. On Friday, I was sat at home, headphones on, Steelers hockey, you were with David Matsos in the studio, and you, you, you posed a question to Matty that he got three settled lines and things were going well, and then Matty dropped the bombshell that he was changing those lines, the line combinations tonight, what your thoughts were on that? For me, I think you keep your first line, I think you keep Ashley Tate where he was, I think that with him, Legui and Tolbert, they, they'd formed a unit that was really working for the Sheffield Steelers. But I think the big thing Dave Matsos felt was lines two and lines three. He wasn't getting enough out of the Finity line. And he, I think he felt that the Rob Dowd line just perhaps wasn't quite clicking enough for him and wasn't producing enough points. And they were too heavily reliant on that top line. But for me, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Juggle the other six players around, see if you can create more out of that. But I think his big thing right now is, is trying to get scoring through the whole of the lineup, And he doesn't want to get into a situation where the Steelers maybe lose four or five games and he can't figure out why. So instead, he, he's tried to sort of head that off. And while the Steelers were still playing well, get rid of the areas that perhaps weren't performing top level for him. It's not very often that I come down from the White House, come down the corridor, go to the Sheffield Steelers dressing room somewhat seven, eight minutes after the game, and the dressing room door is still closed, and David Matsos still talking to his players, or rather perhaps raised voices from David Matsos tonight. Was this a kick up the backside that perhaps the Sheffield Steelers needed? They, you know, they've got away with a couple in Belfast, maybe even in Coventry, but uh, it was tonight a game they should have won, they didn't. Is, is this one that got away, and Matty's using it almost? As, as an excuse to give him a bit of a, a rollicking. Yeah, I think without doubt. I think the big difference in Belfast, Jody Lehman, is outstanding. Coventry last weekend, Jody Lehman, is outstanding. Those were the reasons why the Sheffield Steelers were able to take the points out of those games. I think that now you look at the other side of it, well, Jody didn't have his best night tonight. And, you know, no problems with that. He's had such an outstanding year. Every so often, you go back to just being very good. And tonight's a night where Jody was very good. He wasn't outstanding, and that's why the Sheffield Steelers conceded the goals that they did in the manner they did. And it does. It gives Dave Matsos that chance to say, hey, look, maybe we do need to all have a look at things here. We've not been quite playing our best, but we've been getting the results. Now we need to up it. Belfast in town in 24 hours' time. The Steelers can't afford to take anything less than two points. And that's got to be a two-point night, not a three-point night. It is indeed. Sheffield Steelers versus the Belfast Giants on Sunday, a six o'clock face-off at the House of Steel, and then, of course, on Friday against the Manchester Phoenix, when Tony Han, Brett Cloutier, well, they all come back into the building. 0114 256 5656 is how you book your tickets. If you book the Manchester ones the day before the game, or even before that, you do get them at last year's price. You see, you save a couple of quid as well.